Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make some ornaments to put on the front of a card so that it's kind of a, a card and gift. So I think that'll be pretty fun. I've already started off with this stitched ornament die and did the stitching on a couple pieces because I want it to be for the front and for the back. Also, die cut out a ton, well not a ton, but a lot, <laughs> of the extras using that outline die there. So that's what I'm going to start off with for my first one. The thought is I am going to layer this up and this is all heavyweight cardstock to make sure that it's nice and sturdy. I'm going to layer this up and then I'm going to make it so we can slide this onto a card base. Okay, so now that I've got the front and back of my ornament done, I'm going to start as assembling everything. I'm just adding some liquid glue, especially around the edges of a couple of more die cuts where I cut out that pretty ornament shape. So I'm going to layer up both the front and the back each three layers thick piece. Okay, so while these were drying, I went ahead and started working on some more. So these are just the skate. This is the ice skate dime from Spellbinders. And what I did is I did the same thing as I did with the ornaments. I cut out um, additional. So I've got six of these and I went ahead and glued two together. That's going to go for the front. And then I glued two together that's going to go for the back. However, since it's going to go front to back, I kind of need my colored bit to be on the opposite side. So I've got one that I colored on the front of, and then I've got one that I colored on on the back of. I'm going to go ahead and adhere these front and back panels down. Just like with the ornament, these are going to be three layers thick for the front and then three layers thick for the back. Let me set these two aside so that they have a chance to dry while I go back to these pieces. I've got a card base here that is going to be a trifold. Now the way that I made the trifold is I only I scored it. This is a five and a half. Yes. <laughs> five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock. So it's half of an eight and a half by eleven. And I scored it at two and an eighth. That is half a four and a quarter so that it's going to close perfectly in the center. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I also took a piece of um, lightweight cardstock to create a belly band. I'm making this one about a half inch wide. I'm, I'm sorry, about an inch wide. And these guys are going to be able to go onto the belly band. To do that, I need to glue these down to each other and I want to make sure that I'm in the right spot so I'm laying my belly band on there as a guide and I think for this one both that little bump on the ends is probably about the right spot so it's not going to be too you know too close to the belly band so I'm going to glue that on both the top and the bottom And this is going to give me a slit. This is going to give me a slit to be able to slide my belly band through. Before I do that though, I just thought about this. I kind of need to have... Oops, it's already sticking good. Which is a good thing. I need to have something for it to adhere to. I mean, something for it to attach to the tree with. So let me just take some, some twine here. 
going to go ahead and tie it at the bottom just to be on the safe side. The glue should be more than enough, but this will give it a little extra something to hold on to. Okay. And then I'm going to have this near the end. Let me go ahead and put a little bit more glue down just to hold this piece. Okay, now I can adhere the rest of this together. And again, I'm going above and below those little knobs on the sides. Now those little knobs there are basically the part that holds that gold filigree part on the front. Okay. And you can see that that is pretty thick. It's a, it's six layers thick. So as soon as that is good to go, and I think it may be about dry enough, I can slide my belly band right through there so that this can go onto the front of my card. Okay, so what I've decided to do in front of my ornament on the card, because I do need something else on the front of this, you know, I'm going to use um, some patterned paper. Actually, I got this from scrapbook.com. It was a freebie with another order, and these papers are just lovely. Uh, this is called Christmas Watercolor. So I'm sure that it's something that you can still get, but I decided I'm going to use this one. Just it was first off, it was in the top of the pack, and I'm thinking that is just lovely. So just to double check my placement, so it's going to be kind of like that. I think that is going to look so 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 nice. So in order to get this on the front of the card, these pieces here are right at two and an eighth. So I'm going to cut this to two inches. I'm going to cut two slivers off of this. Oh, this is a six inch piece, so that means I'm going to actually cut three pieces that are two inches wide a piece. And I'm going to use two of those and set this one off for use on another card. That is going to look great. And this one goes on this side. I'm <laughs> making sure I have them straight so that they line up correctly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm going to have, I think I'm going to put this end all the way down at the bottom over here. And then uh, that way I can just trim off the top. Okay, so now I'm going to slip this over the front. So after I was putting it on there, I had another thought. It's like, okay, how are they going to know to take it off? Well, I, instead of gluing it together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make it so that they attach together. So I took a sheet of heavyweight cardstock, eight and a half by 11, and cut some um, one inch strips so that I could make a new belly band. And I want this one to be tight enough so it hopefully is not going to cause me any issues. And I've got plenty of extra cardstock here. Or I may leave it on like, like that. It does feel like it's pretty snug, so that's good. And I'm going to cut it about here. To be able to do that interlocking piece. Okay. So there's on that side, and then again on the opposite side. And then I can erase my pencil marks, because nobody needs to see that. Okay. 
and this is heavyweight cardstock so it should be it should hold up a little bit better and just slide those through and that looks like it's going to hold pretty well okay let me try this time with the ornament in place Just slide that right on through so it'll be in the center on the front there we go and then I'm gonna just trim off this little bit of excess here so we've got about uh, I'd say probably about three quarters of an inch on each side and that looks awesome so I'm doing the same thing with the ice skates. Got my card base done with some pieces of pattern paper as my background. Already got my belly, ba belly band created with the slits. So now I just need to glue these guys together. Before I do that, I also need to do this string. I keep forgetting about having something for it to hold on to as an ornament, right? if we don't have anywhere to attach it to our tree it's not going to be an ornament it's just going to be a removable embellishment we don't want that okay so i'm going to adhere that right here in all of that extra glue and i'm getting some double-sided adhesive just to be on the safe side i think i'm going to do that as the lower edge of where i want my belly band to go as well Okay, so right across here should be good. There we go that is looking nice looking through all of the new stuff that i just got i thought that the little sled would look so cute as an ornament so i'm going to use that and some diamond shapes from that new die set the nested diamonds um to create a an ornament using that too and do the same kind of thing but first i need to assemble my little sled here we've got all of the slats and everything goes just basically gets all adhered down so we've got three center pieces of the wood slats and then two um, for the sides and then for the top so I'm going to go ahead and put all of those down onto my little red <laughs> I love this one my little red um, sled this is going to be so cute Okay, then I'm going to let that dry a little bit. I may add something else to the front, not sure. But I do need to make my ornament piece with that heavy cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and glue some of these diamonds together. And I do still want it to be about six thick for this part. So I'm going to go ahead and put here three and three. Okay, and this is the pattern paper that I picked out that I think is going to work well for it. But I need to also see what does it look like with the white. Is that too much white? Oh, this is going to be cute. That's going to be perfect. Okay. So. I think I may want to do one more of the white heavyweight cardstock to go behind the red. Because that is a little flimsy. So let me go ahead and get that die cut out. Okay, that second layer really, really helped. That, um, that the sled part, the red part of the sled was so thin that it, I was afraid it was going to rip. So that is going to work pretty good, I think. Now I just need to mount it onto one of my diamonds and decorate it.
Okay, so in the center of each of my little poinsettias, I'm going to add a little bit of Nouveau Drops. Dabbings of it, so it's kind of like little... Little dots. For the last card, I do need one more card base. So this is half of a sheet of eight and a half by 11 card stock. So that is eight and a half by five and a half. I'm gonna score it at two and an eighth. Flip it around, score it again at two and an eighth. And as always, I fold away from the score. And that's to try to help it not crack. I haven't had any kind of an issue with cracking in quite a while, so that is good. So this has been working for me for a long, long, long time. Okay, on this one, unlike my other uh, ornaments, there is a lot going on on here that could possibly pull off. So I'm not going to put anything on the back. I am just going to make it so that it goes onto the front of the card does mean that it's going to be a one-sided, but you could also use this as a tag. Don't do what I do. Do what I say, guys. <laughs> Don't forget your string. And you could, of course, use a nicer string than what I'm using. I'm just using some baker's twine that I have in my stash. Okay, one more time. I'm going to, again, use some double-sided tape to try to hold that in place. Okay, now I can add my glue back to the card in those triangles up at the top and the bottom of my diamond and adhere everything together. So foiled and die cut out some of the sentiments from the glittery greetings that's also in this collection and I picked out a few that I'm going to use on these ornaments and I'm actually using them on the ornaments not just on the card. And now I just need some tape to go on the back of this and I want to be pretty much the right length. Usually I don't care, but this is one that I want to be able to go on the tree and not have any issues. So I want everything to pretty much stay in place. I also have to trim this down to a little less than a quarter inch. So, okay, and then I'm going to also put some liquid adhesive on here too. Like that I'm hoping is going to make it so it sticks a little bit better to that stitching detail. And it'll give me a chance to move it around a little bit if I need to. I shouldn't need to, but... So changed my mind about... Oh, with a couple of things. Uh, first off, the pattern paper on the back had this lovely plaid, so I decided to go with the plaid. I really like the way that that one's going to look. Also added a poinsettia to the top of that, um, that boot there, that skate, and I think I'm going to also add some, um, some Nuvo drops to that in the end too. I'm going to go ahead and first off add my sentiment to my sled. Again using foam tape and liquid glue to adhere that down and I don't want any of it to be pretty much hanging off because that just gives it an extra chance to get snagged. Okay just place that right across the center there. And now I can put that onto my belly band. Again, there is that space in between the two sections of cardstock. So attach it to my card. And just position my ornament where I want it on the card. So that's going to finish up this card video using some of the new let me slide that back up where it belongs. Using some of the new products from this month's July Christmas release from Spellbinders. I am just loving all... The bad part with this set is that they are so interchangeable. You can use basically everything with everything else. And it turns out fabulous. I am loving these cards. You guys be sure to check out this playlist to see some more videos where I'm using Spellbinders products. And have a wonderful day. Remember, if I can make it, you can too. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.